Anyway, uh, any of you fuckers need to get an extra drink or hit the head? I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Uh, because I'm excited for the next one, and I want to make sure everyone is fully prepared for what is about to happen next, okay? There's fucking additional tags on this next story. I know, like, it's it's a thing. I'm really excited. So if everyone's ready, we'll do it. It's very short, and it has two chapters, but the second chapter isn't really a chapter. So. Do you guys feel ready? Do you guys feel emotionally prepared? Oh, yeah. yes. I was born for this moment. <laughs> I did I miss this part in Kingdom right Hearts? So. For today's story, and thank you to everyone watching out there in the chat. You've come at a great moment. Um, we're going to be reading a story called Sweeter Than Honey by Pent Suraitai. And I'm sorry I mispronounced your name. I'm sure I did. Uh, and the story is a sexual fanfic. It doesn't go full sex, don't worry. Between Sephiroth and Winnie the Pooh. Hey, Flam, would you like to read the additional tags? Absolutely. We're looking at alternate canon, crossover, Soulmates, sure. Love at first sight, all right. Sloppy makeouts, yum. Bestiality, whoa! Implied genocide. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with sperm shooting out, maybe. Literal fluff, crack. Magical accidents, yaoi. Seduction, unresolved sexual tension. Digital art, <laughs> lime. Dom Winnie the Poop, whoa. And pre Nibelheim incident, whatever that means. I'm assuming that's Kingdom Hearts related. No, that that is yeah, absolutely Final, Final Fantasy. Fantasy. Final that's Fantasy. Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Yeah. Oh, well, there's like fucking thirty of them. I don't fucking well, know. The people reading, well, it's, that's the one that really matters. Just to be clear, um, the people the people who are reading, I will be narrating. Um, Sephiroth will be played by Rav. Oh my god, Um, and Winnie the Pooh, and I'm excited for this. Will be played by Flammenwerfer. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Flam can do a genuinely good Winnie the Pooh, and this is why we're doing this story, okay? That is literally the reason we're doing this. Does this count me cucking Christopher Robin? Okay. <laughs> so here we're we're gonna we're gonna do this now. <clears throat> the notes. <laughs> I'm gonna read the notes too, don't worry. Sweeter than honey by Pence Suraitai. Summary. Sephiroth meets very special someone in the basement of Shinra Manor. Notes. Do you think that God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? Dr. Romero, Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams. Mm. Chapter 1. Book after book after book. Sephiroth felt his sanity slip away from him into boiling anger as he discovered more and more of the truth. He barely felt present in the real world and could only think about betrayal. The corruption of mankind. Horrible thoughts swept through his mind, making him want to do nothing more than destroy. Sephiroth slammed yet another book to the ground. Yet another book that gave him the horrific answers he sought after. His fingers glided over the bookshelf and he pulled out a thinner book than the rest titled The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Sephiroth's Mako-infused eyes widened as he traced his hand over the cover, which glowed with a mysterious materia aura. Too curious to move on to the next book, Sephiroth cracked it open. A loud explosion accompanied by a blinding flash of light caused Sephiroth to leap backwards and nearly crash into the bookshelf behind him. On lightning-fast impulse, he drew Masamune and prepared for battle. <laughs> said a living stuffed bear that somehow emerged from the explosion <laughs> thank you for that on the defensive on the defensive prowl he put his stuffed arms up as Sephiroth threatened him at the tip of his seven foot sword oh bother please calm down speak said Sephiroth with a cough squinting through the debris in an attempt to get a better look at the small creature I was minding my business looking for some honey in the Hundred Acre Woods, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Pooh batted his beady plastic eyes and licked his chops. It seems I found something sweeter. <laughs> I'm just going to get so bad. I promise it really does it. It's already as bad as it gets. When Sephiroth's vision was fully restored, he became enchanted by the bear's seductive gaze. Sephiroth lowered his blade and cleared his throat, stammering. Who are you? I'm Pooh, and who are you? Sephiroth looked at the ground in defeat. A pawn, a mere puppet used to do others' biddings. Dropping Masamune with a loud clank, Sephiroth approached the stuffed bear and kneeled to the ground, stroking the fur on his face. He whispered into the stuffed ear. But I think it's time I take control of my own destiny. Oh dear, you still never told me your name. <clears throat> Mankind is pathetic, weak, manipulative. Sephiroth continued. He pulled Pooh into a passionate kiss, which Pooh hungrily accepted with a deep animalistic moan. <laughs> Thank you, Flynn. <laughs> Sephiroth broke the kiss and stared into Pooh's blank eyes, panting. But you, you're different. I'm a stuffed animal said Pooh. I'd rather like to know your name. I'm uh, not that kind of bear. Sephiroth. But that hardly matters. I can be anyone you want, honey. <laughs> with a deter- with a deter- I know! I'm sorry! I need a moment! I'm sorry! <laughs> <sighs> 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 Okay, okay, I've got it. Ah. With a determined gaze, he slid his hands up Pooh's shirt to massage the fur on his chest with skilled hands. Sephiroth felt his pants get uncomfortably tight. Masamune. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Masamune isn't the best sword on me, if you know what I mean. Oh, bother! <laughs> 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 God help us, for we have sinned. Um, who shivered, holding back a moan. Mm, you're making me rumbly in my tumbly. Why don't we take this somewhere less drafty? Heard Sephiroth in the Pooh's ear as he stroked his face. Pooh gave him a look of sheer dominance, and Sephiroth planted a kiss on his nose and held his stuffed hand. I was just about to set this entire town on fire, if you would like to join me. Next slide. Oh shit, it didn't end, okay. Then, we can get down to business. Pooh smiled as best as a stuffed animal could. There's nothing in the whole world I'd rather do Especially since it's with you. And then we have then we have this art. That someone actually drew. Milk, please display this art for everyone to see. Oh god, what the fuck is this? There's one more chapter and I will read it real real quick. Chapter two. Some people care too much. I think it's called love. A A. Milney. That's it. Hmm. That's the story. Well, there's supposed to be another image down here, but it's fucking blank. It got deleted because it was Sephiroth's big, meaty cock penetrating <laughs> Pooh's stuffing hole. So, what do we think, guys? How was the story? I think there needs to be a new category besides sin to describe this. I know. And it's so much worse because you were doing a good job and Flam was doing a good job. I never <laughs> wanted to hear so many of those things said in Winnie the Pooh's voice. <laughs> So, Priest, as somebody who enjoys Winnie the Pooh, what say you? Oh, bother. <laughs> <laughs> and they went to bouncy, 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 bouncy. 
fun, 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 fun. And the most wonderful thing about the story is, thank God there's only one. <laughs> okay, that was good. I like that. <laughs> oh, oh, shit.